Right, today I'm going to look at preparing maize. This is a sack of Bamford's top flight. Let's have a look at it. Pull it up and have a look at the bottom. I don't know whether you can see that. Polished American maize. And the price I've paid for it. £8.25 for 20 kilos. And uh, I'm going to go through how we prepare this for carp fishing. So let's lift it up. And let's get it open. Now, if you cut the tag, you should just be able to pull that. straight out in one go. Let's have a look what's inside. Here we go. Can you see that? What we've got. That is actually a really nice bag of maize that. Some really good big pieces in there. No dust. That looks pretty good. Now we can't use that for carp fishing in its raw form, uh, it's dried and it needs to be soaked and boiled to make it softer. Okay so the first thing we do is put our dry maize into an empty bucket. I've generally filled mine about a quarter full which is about a kilo of maize. That does me for a day trip, if you need any more I'd recommend you don't fill it more than half full because the maize does expand and half full will expand to about three quarters of a bucket. Once your dry maize is in the bucket, just cover it with water. Make sure you leave at least two inches of water on top of the maize to allow for expansion of the grains. Check it a few hours later just to make sure it's still okay and if you need to add more water at this stage you can do. We'll give it 24 hours and then it'll be ready to boil. Right, okay, it's 24 hours later. I'm in the kitchen now. Here's my maize from yesterday. As you can see, it's expanded quite a lot. There's uh, nearly half a bucket in there now. So it's ready to cook. So all we're gonna do is pour this maize into the pan on the stove. So, and then it's just a case of turning the gas on and bringing it up to boil. Now, we usually boil maize for 20 minutes, and if we had a boiling water and a chip pan basket and we just dunk the maize in it would be 20 minutes and then we'll take it out it would be done um, because I'm cooking it from cold or starting with cold water I'm only going to let it simmer for 10 minutes and the reason I'm doing that is because as the water's warming up and it's coming up to boiling point the maize is already started to cook and of course when it goes in the bucket when it's finished they'll seal the lid on it it'll carry on cooking as the water cools down and that'll give me, me roughly 20 minutes. What we're aiming for when we're done is for some of these grains to be split. And once we're finished, we'll take a look and, and uh, see how it comes out. Okay, so for now, we're just going to let the water heat up. Right, so I've got myself a ladle. As it's boiling up or coming to the boil, I like to give it a stir now and again. I 
I generally try and keep it moving round once it's simmering. So it's, uh, it's on the way. okay as you can see it's boiling now simmering away nicely so I'll just back the gas off at this point and I'll just keep it bubbling away like that for about 10 minutes okay so here we are we're 10 minutes in and it's still bubbling away. I'll give that a little stir for you. As you can see, it's uh, it's well on the way to being done. So I'm going to call it a day there. Turn it off, and I'm going to tip the maze back into its bucket. Okay, so here we go. The reason we use a bucket with a lid is because we can snap it shut and the reason we've done that is to keep the heat in remember it takes 20 minutes roughly to cook maize and it's add 10 plus it's add another few minutes cooking as well as, a, as the water was boiling so left with the lid snapped on it'll carry on cooking as it cools down and that'll give us 20 minutes so we'll wait until that cools down and when we open the lid it should be ready. Right, okay. We've reached the moment of truth. Water's cooled down. Here's the bucket. Let's unsnap the lid. And see what we've got. Okay, so as you can see, as the maze has cooled down, it's cooked and if we lift that up see the grains that one's split lots and lots of them have split which is exactly what we want most are still whole but the split grains are the ones that tell us it's done and that is literally about perfect not going to get much better than that that's about as good as it gets now for presentation I like to fish two grains on a hair with a piece of yellow foam sandwiched in the middle uh, I fish it on a B175 hook which is a long shank and I leave about a five millimeter gap between the bend of the hook and the bottom of the first piece of maize uh, that makes a fantastic presentation you know, you're fishing over maize and you, you've got that on. Uh, the fact that the foam's there helps it fly into the back of the mouth, back of the fish's mouth quicker. And it works a treat. This is one of the fish I caught on it. On this very presentation. I mean, this is going back to 2002. I caught this my first 30. 31 pound, two ounces from Hardwick. Felt a maize. I've been using this bait for a long, long time. And it's an absolute cracker. Uh, if you're fishing far out from the bank, you can't reach with a catty, spam it out. The spam is absolutely perfect for putting maize out. You get zero loss. And uh, as you can see, this is me. Uh, this is this year, spamming maize out. It's a fantastic base, well worth using. And uh, £8.25 for the 20 kilo sack. It's a damn sight cheaper than boilies. So, if you decide to use it, good luck. 
one thing I will say is if you've got a lot of bream and tench in your water you might want to consider something else because they love this as well but if it's predominantly carp or if you're fishing a boily water where nobody's getting any runs a change to something that's not round bait like this is absolutely perfect and it's cheap as chips thanks very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thanks very much